A data science project includes primary components such as getting data, processing data, training machine learning model, then putting it into production. It is important to validate each component's outputs to ensure each component works properly before feeding its outputs to the next component in the workflow. For example, after getting the data, you might want to check the data integrity includes whether there are conflicting labels, data duplicates, or high filter correlation in your data before processing the data. Then you might want to validate your train test set before use the data to train a model. After training a model, you might want to evaluate your model. In this video, you will learn how to use deep checks to validate components in the research phase of your data science pipeline. What is deep checks? Deep checks is a Python library for testing and validating your machine learning models and data. To install deep checks, type pip install deep checks. The first validation suite we're gonna create is data integrity suite. A data integrity suite allows you to validate your data before splitting it or using it for processing. There are two steps to creating a validation suite with deep checks. The first step is to define a dataset object that holds the relevant metadata about the dataset, such as the category features or label. To run a data integrity suite, we're gonna apply the return value of data integrity on the dataset that we just created. If a switch passed, then this will return true and the assertion will not raise an error. At the end, to save the result to an HTML report, we call the method result.save as HTML. Now that we're familiar with the basic syntax, let's integrate deep checks with an existing workflow. First, we start with loading the configuration files that hold all the values we need. Next, we load the data from PostgreSQL. Then, we initialize the dataset, create data integrity suite. Check if the suite passed. At the end, we put all of these functions inside the function check data integrity. Now let's run this file and see how the output looks like. You can see that the integrity suite finished running and we have an assertion error. This means that there is at least one check in the data integrity suite didn't pass. Let's check the report and see where the failures come from. Here's how the report looks like. If we click didn't pass, we're gonna see a summarization of which checks didn't pass, their status, the summarization of the condition, and more info about the condition. If we keep scrolling down, we're gonna see more details about each of these failure. For example, in the data duplicates check, we get an idea of what the check is about. In summary, we expect the duplicate data ratio is less than or equal to zero, but we found that more than 8% of the data are duplicates. If we keep scrolling down, we want to see an example of duplicate data and the number of times it appears. Here we can see that 10 instances are duplicates, which means they have the same values for every column. If we click past, we can see that a lot of checks passed. The next switch I want to show is a chain test validation switch. A chain test validation switch is useful when you want to validate two data subsets such as chain and test sets. Running the chain test validation switch is very similar to running a data integrity switch. You first start with initiate data set objects for the chain set and the test set. Next, you create the switch using chain test validation and run it on the chain data set and test data set. If you run this, you will see the following. We can see that our category mismatch chain test failed. This means that the ratio of samples with a new category is greater than zero. In our data, for the column brick one, we find seven new categories in the test set. And here are the examples of the new categories. 
and if we scroll down we can see all the checks that passed and see very beautiful graphs for each of the check a model valuation suite is useful after training a model or before deploying a model to create a model evaluation suite use a model evaluation method the approach is similar to other deep check suite first we instantiate data set objects then we run the suite on the chain set test set and the model here's how the report looks like you can see all the evaluation for your model such as the rc curve simple model comparison then we can see that we had six check passed such as boosting overfit to take a closer look of all the reports i mentioned in this video i recommend checking the links included in the description to learn how to customize your validation suite check out deep checks documentation